Our standard of the day solves problems involving applications of right triangle ratios. Our objective for the day is students will be able to find the area of a triangle when two sides and the included angle is given. Our essential questions How can I calculate the area of any triangle given only two sides? and a non-included angle. How can I apply trigonometric relationships to non-right triangles? So when I say to uh, area of the triangle given two sides and non-included angle, it means is if I'm having a triangle over here, okay, and I have, let's label this as A, B, and C, and I've been given two sides over here, let's keep this, this is 12 and this is 10, so the angle which is over here, this angle is called included angle. This one is called what? Included angle. So our concept is what? Two sides and a non-included angle. So let me take this angle over here. So this angle is not between these two sides. So this is called what? This is called as non-included angle. How can I apply trigonometric relationship to non-right angles means? the triangles which are not right triangle. This means a triangle which does not have an angle equal to 90 degree. Uh, trigonometry of general uh, triangles key terms. So we will go over some of the important key terms which we I will be using in this session today. Uh, altitude of a triangle. What is an altitude? Altitude is the perpendicular distance between a vertex of a triangle and the side opposite that vertex. So how, how will I explain this? So let's look over here. This is my triangle over here and this is my vertex. This point is my vertex A, B and C. So definition of altitude is what? The perpendicular distance between the vertex of the triangle and the side opposite to that vertex. So the side opposite to the vertex is what? This. So this perpendicular distance is called what? Altitude of a triangle. Included angle, the angle between given two sides of a triangle. So if in case I have a triangle like this, so the angle which is between the given two sides, let's take an example, this is my A, this is my B, this is my C. So the angle which is given between two sides, so let's take an example, I've been given these two sides A and B, so the angle which is coming in between these two sides, this is called what? Included angle. Law of cosines, uh, law of cosines is what? C square is equal to A square plus B square minus 2AB times cosine of C. So, so let's focus over here uh, and remember lower case letters, they are used to represent the what? The sides of a triangle. So if we are using lowercase uh, letters, we are representing both sides. And the uppercase letters we will use is for what? Angles over here. Angles of a triangle. Angles of a triangle. So and one, one more thing I want to uh, explain over here is, so if in case I am having a triangle over here, let's label this triangle as P, Q and R over here. So whichever are the sides opposite to these angles, this is angle P, this is angle Q, this is angle R, whichever sides are opposite to these angle, those will be labeled as lowercase letters over here. So if this is angle P, the side opposite to angle P over here, this will be yours what? Lowercase P. The side opposite to this angle Q will be what? It will be yours lowercase Q. Similarly, across this R over here or opposite to R, that will be yours lowercase R over here. So what is law of law of cosine? C square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab cosine of angle C. Okay, and law of sines, what is law of sines? A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. Now in some of the books you will also see like this, they they you they write it like this also. Uh, sine A over lowercase a, that's your side, is equal to sine B over lowercase b is equal to sine c over lowercase c. So, but both means the same thing. And all and be mindful of this, we use law of sines for the non-right triangles. 
Now, what is an oblique triangle? Oblique triangle is what? A triangle that is not a right triangle. So, if I have to correct my definition of law of sines, I will modify it and I will say we use law of sines for what? For oblique triangles or the triangle that is not a right angle triangle. Next definition is angle of elevation. So, what is angle of elevation? The angle of elevation of an object as seen by the observer is the angle between the horizontal line and the line from the object to the observer's eyes. That's your line of sight. That's called line of sight over here. So, that's your angle of elevation. So, let's uh, read it again. The angle of elevation of an object. So, let's see this is an object over here as seen by an observer. So, let's see observer is over here. Let's see this is an observer over here is the angle between the horizontal line. This will be a horizontal line over here and the line of sight. So, this is the one. So, the angle which is formed, this is called what? This is called yours angle of elevation. What is angle of depression? The, the angle below the horizontal line, so the angle below horizontal that an observer must look to see an object that is lower than the observer. So, what, what is your angle of depression over here is, let me erase this. The angle below horizontal, so let's take an example if this is a horizontal line. The angle below horizontal that an observer must look to see an object. Now, this time the object is over here and our observer is over here. So, when observers try to look at this, so the angle will be formed like this over here. Okay, so because this is lower than the observer, this is called what? Angle of depression over here. Okay. And thus there's a property over here, angle of elevation and angle of depression, they are both equal. Now, our general formula to find the area of a triangle. Uh, remember to know that two sides and the included angle or the angle between two sides, okay, it should be given to you. So, these are the conditions, either it should be two sides and the included angle will be given to you or, or angle between the two sides, same thing. So, what is the formula? You all know area of a triangle formula is what? One half times base times height. This is over here. So, in this case, if you look over here, this is your base, that's your B. So, check what is the height in this this is your height over here so in this triangle this is my angle c over here if i label my triangle that's my opposite this is my hypotenuse over here because this is our altitude and this will be my adjacent so what is the ratio for sine that's yours opposite over hypotenuse so this this will be yours what opposite over hypotenuse so let's take an example if this is your h over here if this is your h so what will have an h is equal to sorry angle c is equal to what this is angle c is equal to h over uh, a over here. Now, what will be your a? So, if you are looking at a, a over here, that's yours. We can use the Pythagorean theorem also for this one. I made a slight error over here, not a Pythagorean theorem. That's not c. This is your sine of c. Sine of c will be this. And so, what we can do is we can write h in terms of this. So, it will be yours a times sine of c. So, we got h over here, which you can see we have substituted h over here. I got a sine c. So, this is my formula half area is equal to 1 half or 0 0.5 ab sin c. Now, important thing to note over here is this angle c over here, it is included between these two sides. So, our question number one is says find the area of the triangle below. So, we as you can see, I have been given two sides over here 13 and 5 and this angle is what? This angle is included between these two sides. So, as you know, this is my s, this will be my lowercase s over here. This is my r, this will be what my, it will be my lowercase r and this will be my lowercase t. So, if I am finding the area of the triangle, it will be area is equal to 1 half and it's, it will be your r times t times sine of what? 97 degree. Do So, I will change this to my 0 0.5 times r, r is my 5 miles and then I am having my t, that's my 13 miles and this is my what? sine of 97 degree. So, I will substitute all of these values in my calculator and we will get the answer. So, I got my calculator over here. So, let us substitute the values. This is your 0 0.5. I change it to 1 half 2.5 times 5 times uh, 13 times sine. So, this is my sine of 97 degrees. So I will close this. 
Now make sure our your calculator is in a degree mode over here since we're working with sine and uh, trigonometric ratios. So my answer is 32.25. So I'll just take 32.257 and I'll write 32.25, 32.25 and I'll use this miles square. That's my answer for this problem. So this is how we find the area of a triangle. Let's practice another problem. I want you to pause the video and try this question on your own. Okay, so it says find the area below. First of all, we'll do a check. Is this angle between the included sides? Yes, it's between the included sides over here. I will label my triangle. This is my Z. And since this my side is uh, opposite to my Y, it will be angle Y, it will be lowercase Y, and it will be a lowercase X. So my formula is this. Make it a habit of writing the formula. Area is equal to one half uh, Y times X. So let's, let me make it X times Y. So this is your x times y times sine of z. So this is your 0 0.5 times x is yours 9 kilometers times this is your 5 is 4 kilometers and sine of z is what sine of 83 degrees. So let's type this in the calculator and then see what is our answer. So let me clear this. This is my 0 0.5 times 9 times 4 times sine of 83 so let's close the parentheses over here and i got my answer 17.86 so let's write our answer 17.86 now since you are finding uh, your area you will multiply these units also and your answer is kilometer square over here so let's practice another question now it is the similar type of question find the area of the triangle below okay go ahead and pause the video and solve this problem so when you unpause you will see the answer over here so my strategy is still the same okay i will first of all see whether this angle is included between two sides yes i can see this so let me label my triangle this will be my side x this will be my side z and this will be my what side y over here so my formula will be what area is equal to let me change the size of my font over here one half and uh, since i'm using these two this will be my y z sine of what x so i usually change half to 0 0.5 because it helps me in doing the calculation when i input these values in my calculator that's why i do this this is my four kilometers this is my sine 50 degrees so let me pull up my calculator over here so we can see what's my answer so this is yours 0 0.5 times 5 times 4 times sine of 50 degrees okay so we don't write degrees because our mode is in degree mode over here so your answer is 7.66 i'll write it over here what i'll write my answer is 7.66 7.66 and that's your what kilometer square so this is how i find the area of a triangle when i've been given an angle included angle and the two sides okay our next standard is solves problem involving applications of right triangle ratios our objective is students will be able to find the missing side of a triangle using sine formula essential question how can I find the value of the missing side in a given triangle using sine formula? Now, I want you to pause the video and to copy these notes in your notebook so it will help you. So, uh, it says define law of sines. The law of sines can be used to solve triangles that are not right triangles. And earlier I mentioned this to you. Tri triangles which are not right triangles are called oblique triangles. And our uh, sine law, law of sine is A over sine of A. This means side A over sine of angle A is equal to side B over sine of angle B is equal to side C over sine of angle C. And these sides are what? As I was explaining earlier, earlier these sides are the sides length opposite to A, B and C. So this is our formula. So if you look in this triangle over here, 
this is my angle a and the side opposite to this is what lower case a this is my angle b the side opposite to angle b is what lower case b and this is my angle c and which is the side opposite to lower c? this is a lower case c okay so let's apply our law of signs to solve some of the problems all right our question says solve each triangle below now what does it mean what do you mean by solve each triangle so what does it mean is it means is find all the three sides and find the values of all the three angles so first of all let's label our triangles it will be a lot more easier so this is my angle e so across this opposite this will be my lowercase e that's my side this is my angle d over here so this will be what this will be my side d and this is my angle f over here this will be my angle f so this means in this triangle i have to find angle e d and i have to find angle e let me rewrite it over here and i have to find angle f what i else have to find i have to find lowercase a that's my sorry lowercase d in this case it will be d so i have to find lowercase d that's my side over here and this is my lowercase e this is my side over here and I have to find the value of side F. So let's see what has been given in this question. So do you know uh, angle D? Yes, I can see from that tri uh, triangle, this is 65 degree. I got this. What about angle F? Angle F is 89. So how can we find angle E? You all know about the triangle, uh, angle sum property of a triangle. In any triangle, the sum of the three angles is 180 degree. So this is your D plus E plus f is equal to what 180 degree and your d is 65 degree we do not know e over here and f is your 89 degree and equal to 180 so when you simplify this you will end up with what you will end up with the value of angle e is what 26 degrees over here so what we got we got the value of angle e that's your 26 degree so what I will do is I will go ahead and I will write this value where over here 26 degrees I got this value. Okay, so we will keep on going. Now let's see what about the sides. I go, I have been given in this triangle my side E is 14 inches. So this means what I have to find side D or side F. So we will use law of signs in this. So let's use law of signs. Looking at the triangle, our law of sines will be D over sine of D is equal to E over sine of E is equal to F over sine of F. So, start over here. So, so what, what we are trying to find? Let's see. Let's think we are working. Let's solve. We are. We will start with lowercase d. That's our side D. Okay. So, I will be solving for side D. I will write it over here. I am solving for what? I am solving for side D and I use lowercase letter to represent my side. So I will do is I will circle my this ratio over here. Now next thing is between these two what you have been given? You have been given lowercase e or lowercase f. So when I came over here I saw I have been given side e. So I will circle this. I will use this ratio. So I will be using these two ratios over here. So let's do d over side d is equal to e over side e sine of e so let's substitute the values so I, I will use a different color i like to use different different colors so lowercase d i do not know since i'm finding this and sine of uh, angle d is what 65 degrees over here and e is my 14 inches and this is my what sine of e sine of e is what sine of 26 degrees so I can cross multiply over here and when I cross multiply so my next step will be this I will just simplify write the steps in simply simplest form d is equal to 14 times sine of 65 divided by what sine of 26 okay so this will be my next step over here so after this you can type this in your calculator when you type this in your calculator you will end up this uh, you will end up with this value d is equal to 28.94 something 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 so we write it like this d is what d is 29 d will be what d is approximately equal to 29 inches so we got the value of side d 
That's your 29. So write it over here, 29. There you go. Inches. So am I done with this? No, I need to find this lowercase f. So lowercase f, let's work for lowercase f. Lowercase f means you are finding side f. Now again, we have to think which uh, two ratios from this law of science we will use. So what I can do, first of all, I know I will be using this because I have to find this. That's for sure. So I'll write it over here, f over what? Sine of f. So I have a choice. Either I can use this or I can use that. I can just pick any of them. So what I did, I picked the e over here. So it will be e over sine of e. So only thing what we will do is we will use the same approach what we did in the previous problem. You will just, okay, let me erase and rewrite it over here. So I will have some extra space to do my work. F over sine of F. So what I will do over here is I will be using my, uh, uh, you know, same, I'll just uh, substitute the values and we'll get the answer. So E over sine E, E is my 14 over here. Sine E is, that's my 26 over here. And F, I have to find the value of F, but my uppercase F, my angle F is what? My angle F is 89 over here. Okay, so I will do cross multiplication over here and I will skip one step and write the step over here. It will look like this 14 times sine 89 degree divided by what? Sine of 26 degrees. So when you type this in your calculator, you will be ended up with the value f is equal to 39.31.93 something or f is equal to 32 inches. So we got the value of f, that's your 32 inches. So now if you see over here, question was saying solve each triangle and I solved, first of all, I was missing some of the values. I was missing uh, angle E, which I was able to find angle E over here and I was able to find side D and I was able to find side F and this is how you solve a triangle. Okay, our next question is, uh, this is a multiple choice question. In triangle Z, X, Y, y is equal to 11 meter now note this is a lowercase that's your side so side y is equal to 11 meters side x is equal to 12 meters and angle z is your 141 find the area of the triangle so first of all what first of all i will try to figure out whether this angle z it is uh, an included angle or not so i will just draw a triangle over here i want to verify you know that so based on this i will use my area of a triangle and all this thing so this is Z, that's my X, that's my Y over here. So I just randomly I've drawn a triangle over here. So I can see my Z is what 141 degrees. Okay, now let me label my triangle. This will be my side Y. That's my side X. Let me erase this. This is my side X. This is my side Z over here. So what is the value of Y? The question says value of Y is what? 11 and uh, value of X is 12. So what do you think? Is this angle Z is an included angle? Yes. So let's let's use let's apply the formula over here. So area is equal to one half. First side is what? 11. Second side is 12. And the included angle is what? Sine of Z. That's your 141 degrees. So when you type this in your uh, calculator, you should maybe let's see what is your our answer over here. So I will use my calculator over here. Let me pull up my calculator. So this is your 0.5, let me raise this, that's your 0.5 times 11 times 12 times sine of 141. And you know since our calculator is in already in degree mode, so that's the answer 41.53. Okay, and the question says round to the nearest tenth, if I look at this, my answer is 41.53. So I will compare this, which is the correct choice. So this is the choice which is close to my answer which I received. So option A is the correct answer for this problem. Okay, now let's look at this problem over here, our ambiguous case. Solve the triangle. Uh, we have been given angle B is 55 degree, side B is 27, side A is 30 degrees. So let's see what we, what, what we have to do in this problem. So first of all, I told you earlier, solve the triangle means what? You are finding angle A. You have to find angle B, which in this case we have been given. And you have to find angle C. And all after this, you have to find lowercase a, that's your side A. 
you have to find side B and you have to find side C over here. So what is happening in this question over here, uh, angle A we do not know, angle B is 55 degree and our side B is 27 and side A is what 30. So when we, when if I, okay, so what usually I do is I try to draw a triangle, okay. Now please be mindful my triangle is not up to the scale, you know I'm just drawing a rough diagram over here. So this is my angle B, this is my 55 degree. Okay, I've just uh, took this as A and this my C. So this is my side B over here, this is my side C and this is my side A. So what I've been given the value, side B is being given to me 27, side A is my 30 and I do not have side C. Now if I'm paying attention over here, I saw this, uh, I've been given these two angles B and A and this angle B is a non-included angle. This is not between these two angles over here. So our approach is still the same over here. Now what I can do is I can I can use a, a law of sines. Well, I will use law of sines over here. Let me use law of sine. So when I'm using law of sines over here, so I have been given lowercase b. So I will take this and one one will be my what? Uppercase b sine of b. So I will start first of all as I want to find angle A. Let's start with this. So my next ratio will be what? A over sine of A. So I will substitute the values over here, lowercase b is my 27 over here, uh, sine of uppercase b, this is my 55 degree. Uh, lowercase is my 30 over here and sine of a, I do not know. I am doing all this to what? I am doing all this to find my angle a over here. So I will cross multiply over here. So when I cross multiply, it is your 27 times sine of angle a is equal to 30 times sine of 55 degrees okay so what I will do my next step will be what I will divide by 27 both the sides which I'm doing over here this will be cancelled out and it will be my sine of a and I will take the inverse so it will be my a is equal to sine inverse since I'm finding the angle whose sine ratio is what this all this thing over here it's 30 times sine of 55 divided by what 27 over here so let's use our calculator. When you uh, enter these values in your calculator, you will get your answer 65.52 something, but I will round it over here and I will just take 65.5. So this is my angle A over here. All right, so this is my answer. So we can still check it by typing in the calculator. <clears throat> so let's hit clear over here. So this, this is a button we use, uh, this is a, a key which we use, sine inverse. And since it's a fraction over here, usually what I uh, like to do is use an extra parenthesis over here. Times sine of what? 55. Close parenthesis and close C. You can see over here, one V opened, there's one more V closed. And you are dividing this by what? You are dividing this by 27. Now once everything is open, just check how many parentheses you open, how many closed. 1, 2, 1, 2. So, no, somewhere we messed up because sine inverse is for everything over here. So I need to, okay, hold on. 1 over here, 2, yeah. So I, I, have to, I need one more over here. I'll press this. I'll press enter. I'll get my, So I got my answer 65.5 degrees over here. Okay, we got our angle A. That's so 65.5. Let me write it over here. All right, now we have to find angle C. It's kind of very easy. What we can do is we will use angle some property of a triangle. A plus B plus C is equal to what? 180 degree. So when I substitute my values over here, angle A and angle B, which in, front, in fact what I will get after solving, I will get the value of C as what? 59.5 degrees over here. So I got the value of nine, uh, C as 59.5 uh, degrees. This is not a zero. It's a, okay, let me erase this. This is my degree over here. There you go. So I got this also over here. Now am I done with my? No. I I still need to find lowercase c. That's my side c over here. So, so let's do, let me draw some, let me make create some space over here. So for side c, if I'm using my sine formula over here or sine rule, I will take c over sine c. That's for sure. Now I have a choice. Either I can take a over sine a or I can take b over sine b. I will just take a over sine a. Let's take P over sine B, okay? So this is my B over sine B over here. 
so lower case c i do not know and this is my sine of c this is my sine of 59.5 degrees is equal to b that's my 27 and divided by what sine of b that's my sine of 55 so i will do cross multiplication over here so my next step will look like this after i'll just skip one or two steps i will simplify it looks like this sine 27 times sine of 59.5 divided by what sine of 55 degrees so let's type this in a calculator and see what is our answer so i use my calculator i got my answer is 28.4 degrees so 28.4 this is a side so we cannot use degrees over here so i got my answer over here uh, there is one more possible solution for this uh, because since it's an ambiguous case over here there is one more possible case solution over here but i will just do this for the timing over here so our next topic is law of cosines let side a side b and side c be the side lengths opposite to angles a b and c then a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine of a and similarly we have formula for b square and c square also when given two sides and an included angle of a triangle that's called sas side angle side use law of cosines first to find the third side so what it tells you it tells you if you have been given two side and an included angle of a triangle then you should use law of cosines first to use the third side and then use law of sines to find the smallest of the two that i have a typing error over here find the uh, smallest of the two remaining angles the smallest angle is opposite to the shortest side so our next question is solve each triangle below okay here you go i'm just, just a second so again this question says solve each triangle below so we have to use uh, now let's start over here what our rules said our rules okay solve each triangle means what you have to find the value of angle a angle b angle c you have to find the value of side a side b and side c so what uh, what we learned on the previous slide was when you have been given two sides in this case these are the two sides and the included angle is given there's an sas case side angle side use law of cosines first to find the third side okay so let's first of all fill up uh, complete these blanks over here angle a is 35 degree over here uh, okay this is my this is my lowercase a this will be my lowercase c this will be my lowercase b over here so i got my lowercase b is 22 meters lowercase c is my 30 meters over here all right so we'll use law of cosines to find what uh, the third side third side is a so when i'm using my law of cosines my formula will be a square is equal to b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine of a okay so let's substitute the values or a is equal to radical of since i will take the radical on both sides b square plus c square minus 2bc cosine of a what is the value of b that's my 22 square over here plus c is my 30 square over here minus 2 bc is 22 this is your 30 and this is your cosine of 35 degree uh, you can type this in your calculator in its entirety and you will get the value of lowercase a so let me use my calculator over here i will pause the video for a few seconds and i'll find the answer so my answer is 17.39 and i will just uh, write it over here 17.4 that will be my answer over here so i got my lowercase a that's my 17.4 so what i have to do I, I have to find my angles over here angle b and angle c so okay now next what we do is we will for you will use what you will use law of sine to find the smallest of the two remaining angles so the next thing which comes is which is the smallest uh, which is the smallest angle so so let's write away let's write the value of this your 17.4 now how it works is the smallest side whichever is the smallest side the angle opposite to this is the short the sorry which whichever is the shortest side the angle opposite to this is the smallest angle so this is your a so this angle is the smallest angle over here okay so this means 30 is a bigger number this will be the largest angle and this will be your what second smallest angle so let's let's find b using law of sines let's create some space over here so i'm solving for 
lower upper case b i write it over here i am solving for angle b using word law of sines so this is your b over sine b okay i, I like to write the ratios then i use then i like to do it and i cannot see i cannot take angle c because i i do not know that i cannot have two unknown values so a over sine of a so lower case b is your 22 over sine of b i do not know which i am trying to find and lower case a is what 17.4 and sine of a is what 35 over here all right so let's cross multiply and simplify this so it will be your 22 times sine of 35 is equal to 17.4 times sine b i will bring it over here it will be my 17.4 and it will be my sine inverse of b over here so this will be what this is my sine inverse what i did over here i skipped uh, one or two steps over here as you know since now you know how to do this i just skip some of some of my steps so my next step looks like this b is equal to what sine inverse uh this is my 22 22 times sine of 35 degree divided by 17.4 so we'll, i will pause the video i will type in a calculator i'll find the answer for you all right so our angle b is what our angle b is 46.48 degrees which i will just take it 46.5 degrees so i got my angle b over here now it's kind of super easy for me let me write over here 46.5 degree and i will just find angle c i can just you know do my angle some property angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 degree so this is my 35 plus 46.5 plus c is equal to 180 degree okay and i can find it in the calculator also this thing on simplifying i got my answer c is what 98.5 degrees so you can see here you go this is my 98.5 degrees over here so now you can solve a triangle by using law of sines and law of cosines also it depends how you want to take you you want to you approach to that so values of finding your sides or your angles over here so you can apply you can use any of those okay this is the assignment sheet on the concept which i explained to you this will be done by you know using law of sines and law of cosines uh, please check this okay and if you can you can once you finish this just email me okay the solution of this worksheet and i'll give you extra 10 points which can be added to any of your test or quiz thank you have a wonderful day please make sure to come and attend the live learning session thank you